Uh-oh. Uh-oh, watch out the car. Hilarious. Got it? Okay. Oh, a big drop hit my phone. Drop. Alright, let's go in the house so mommy can cook. Okay, I finally think I got you guys in a good angle. But, um, good morning. I wanted to talk to you guys about this condition that I've been having free problems with for years that I recently, like probably like two or three months ago, just figured out what it was, how to treat it, and what causes it. So what it's called is, and I'll put the words at the bottom of the screen in case I like butcher, butcher them. Um, it's called seboric dermatitis. And what is it? I can't really say what it is. It's like dry, flaky skin. It happens around the nose, around the mouth area, behind the ears. It can be on your earlobes, um, in your eyebrows, um, where else? On the edge of your scalp um, on your entire scalp and I think that's all I'm not sure I think I believe that's all the places that you get it's mostly like on your head and it's mostly like dry flaky skin and if it's not dry flaky skin it's like extremely oily skin so um, I feel like I had this condition all my life but my face started to have more of a to show more of the condition once I got older. So what, um, I should have had this down my face, but what I do for this is, um, uh, okay, so what I do for this condition, I kind of show you guys, like it's right here around my mouth, it's like this dry, flaky skin, a um, little bit above my lip right here, and then you can see like, I'm trying to like the lights kind of on my face too much. But anyway, there's some on both sides of my nose. It could be way worse than this. There's some on the edges of my hair. And thankfully there isn't any in my eyebrows. Because that would like, like wherever it comes, wherever they show up, the hair in that area goes away. Like when this area gets really bad, like I will have patches of hair missing. You guys can kind of see how even it is. It's completely from the hair condition it's from I mean the skin condition it's from the hair the area getting so dry and flaky that my hair will just like in that area will just come out because I guess the um the little thing it comes out of is like dry and like flakes off along with the the rest of the um like flakes off of the skin or whatever so what I do for that is I use black African African black soap. Um, this is with shea butter. This helps with acne prone and troubled skin. Um, this has a lot of ingredients in it, but it says here it it helps with um, eczema, acne, oily skin, psoriasis, psoriasis, and other skin um, whatever skin problems or whatever. And it helps with healing and hydrating the skin. Which is pretty much what you need when you have dry, flaky skin on your face. And afterwards, I use, this is just by uh, Hollywood Beauty. I got this from a um, shop, right? I use tea tree oil. This is a skin and scalp treatment. A skin and scalp treatment. Um, it helps with dry, itchy scalp. It has vitamin E. It has aloe vera. And it's a fungus fighter. Once I went to the doctor, I was told that... This was like a fungus on my scalp, but I'm not sure if like she knew exactly what she was talking about. I also need to do my hair real quick. I'm not um, sure if she knew exactly what she was talking about, but I'm just going to show you guys what I do to treat my face.
So, so far, this is what I found. I look so weird. So far, this is what I found that has been helping my um, support dermatitis for about three months now. I found them about three, I figured out what I had about three months ago. So, I've been doing this um, routine about every two, three days to control the symptoms. And um, it's been working so far. It doesn't um, affect my makeup at all um doesn't the tea tree oil has like a minty smell but it isn't like a bad smell it doesn't feel minty or anything like that and also the black the um, black african soap it is very drying if you don't put oil on top of it so i wouldn't use it unless i had uh oil to put on top of it so that um that is just what i do and that's what works for me um when I was as I when I was younger, I would just find ways to like um, like I would use lotion or I would use what else would I use? I think I would just like lotion my face like just lotion my face just use lotion as a moisturizer for my face and that was fine for a while. That but my scalp would always be and I would use like hair grease um, to do the to like solve the problem on my scalp and that I would find would make either make my scalp even worse or it would um like build up the like the dry skin whatever patches they would they would just get larger and they would get thicker so I learned that that was going to work once I turned like 16 17 I started to go into more like natural products and that's when I found the uh, Shea Moisture Black African Shampoo, Black African Soap Shampoo. And I use that, um, I use that to solve my scalp problem, but it didn't uh, last for a long time because once I became pregnant, I couldn't stand the smell. And even afterwards, when I smell it, even now when I use it, um, I can't stand the smell because it just reminds me of when I had terrible morning sickness and just any strong smell would um would make me sick. So yeah, I didn't that didn't last for long with that. So then after that I would just deal with it with um I wouldn't like like right now I don't really do anything for my entire scalp. I just get rid of the scabs when I can and um, I'm sorry if I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm like trying to do my hair at the same time talking. But yeah, I just saw the problem on my face because you know no one wants to walk around with white flaky skin around their mouth. Sorry, but that's not it doesn't look very healthy. So I tried to do my best with controlling that. And what happened yesterday? Yesterday, I was at school and I um, went into the bathroom and I realized that I had patches like all right here, right here, I think I had some down here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how did I leave the house without doing, so that little treatment was like a two minute treatment, how did I leave the house without doing that? I have no idea, but I did and I was just so embarrassed yesterday. I had to put, um, I put cocoa, cocoa butter lotion on it and it helped for like two minutes but I guess because the skin is dry it like absorbed it really quick and dried out again because it's not like I wasn't like you know looking up um that lotion it's had like a lot of oil in it so I guess it doesn't help much so I was just a mess yesterday I was so embarrassed to be out like that but I survived but okay I'm gonna have to get the kids ready my phone's run out of room so bye Okay, I'm home. I just got back in and I'm going right back out because um, 
I have to go grab some groceries. We're low on some stuff, so I'm gonna go grab that stuff. And then I'm gonna get rid of from daycare. And after that, I might just like stay. I'm probably gonna stay in the house, of course. It's like not go by the outside, but I don't know if I'm gonna record anymore because I'm not in the best condition right now. Like my face is flaring up really bad. Like I tried to well you guys saw like I treated it this morning, but now it's like it's not dry or flaky anymore, but it's like the patches are showing for where the dry flakiness was and I mean I it's been twenty years I've been dealing with it, but it's still annoying when you want your face to look nice and it can't look nice. It's like why well, put on makeup and I'm still gonna have these. Maybe I should get like some kind of concealer or something or like some kind of something to cover it up on the days that I need to cover it up. Where was that? I think it was like right here. Anyway, yeah. I'm gonna go grab some um groceries and while it's not crazy outside, it's like twelve something. So it's not that bad outside right now, but it's about to get bad when those kids got to school. So yeah, I'm about to do that. So I'm like so excited because I'm about to go get for y'all. Oh, it's dark. Can't see myself. Um, I'm about to go get more y'all. And I haven't seen a little baby all day. Am I just showing? I haven't seen a little baby all day. So I'm like super excited to see her. Why am I about to be like Zork and Zork? My makeup is just like shot. But anyway, I only have 20 minutes of footage left, so I'll probably end the vlog once I get her back in the house. Say oh. yay, boss. Yeah. What are you doing? Don't touch that. Stop it. Been waiting more than three minutes. Right there, I don't miss that. Hey, bunny. Where are you feeding, bunny? Getting that food to them? Yeah. Ooh, poke them. Good job. Break up those leaves. I had their food neatly on that leaf, but when they came down to um, get it, they stepped all over it and like knocked the food all off the leaves. Tried. But he's getting so big. Little bunny's still little. Not for long. I should do some rabbit videos. This is in my frame bothering me. Oops, sorry, I scared you, Bun-Bun. Where were you going? Nice. This is the nice bunny that lets you touch him. Other one acts scared. Okay, that's enough, enough bunny cam. Wanna say hi? Hi. Wave, can you wave? Hi. Can you wave? Hi. Like this. Do like this. Say hi. Hi. What are we doing? Are we eating berries? Can you tell them what we have? What's this one? What, what's this one? Look at mommy. Huh? What's this one? Black. Black. <laughs> blackberry? Blackberry. Yeah, this one's blackberry. And what's this one? Grape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said grape. Blueberries. Are we eating berries? 
<laughs> okay, we're going to end this vlog here because once I get home, I kind of already explained it in my video. When I'm with Foyel, I like to give her my full undivided attention. Not that recording is taking that much attention, but whatever. I'm not good at explaining stuff. Um, But yeah, when I'm with Foyel, I like to just be with Foyel. So, I'm going to um end this video here. And I'll see you guys next time. Hope you saw it later. Or say bye. Bye. Say see you next time. See you next time. Okay. Book it. Mm.